Hey Jack, hi. you said you were hi. You said you were very happy that you ended up getting a fight with Kelvin after the Weidman fight was canceled. Can you just explain a little more about why you like this fight a lot more? Uh, it's basically about the rankings and uh, that uh, Kelvin is uh, a little bit more relevant in the uh, in the top of the middleweight division. So uh, I feel like a fight against him is gonna push me towards the the top five. Um, um, so that, that's why I like the fight. This is going to be a big two weeks in the middleweight division. Obviously, your fight. Then you have next week Darren Till, Robert Whitaker. Is there more pressure to have that big, exciting performance, a big finish, because you want to stand out amidst all these fights going on? Yeah, not not just now. I feel like the pressure is there all the time, and I, I put the pressure on myself, and uh, I know what my goals are. So uh, I don't feel more pressure now uh, that, than before, but uh, the pressure is always there. What does Kelvin bring to the table that makes him a dangerous opponent? I think uh, Kelvin brings um, very dangerous hands. I think that's his his most dangerous uh, weapon. Uh, but uh, he also has a wrestling background, uh, so he can handle that as well. And he has a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so he's an all-round fighter. And he's fought some of the best, and uh, yeah, he's done very good. So uh, he's, he's a top fighter, but I think his hands is his most dangerous weapon. And do you have a prediction who wins between Till and Whitaker next Saturday? Super hard to predict, but I give a small edge to Whitaker. Uh, just uh, because he has a uh, championship uh, uh, background, uh, being a, a, a multiple-time uh, champion, so I think that Whit Whitaker uh, will edge that uh, that one out. So how how does it feel to be in Fight Island? I understand it's slightly cold, it's slightly warmer than where you come from. How is it <laughs> being there, dealing with the heat, the time zones, and everything? Uh, it has been good actually. I prepared for time zone at home uh, a couple of weeks, so um, so that was no problem. And uh, the heat is uh, is real, but I I try to stay inside, you know, and uh, not get exposed too much because uh, it's warmer than anything I ever experienced before. And you've had a meteoric rise, of course, coming off that loss to Cannoneer. What did you learn from that fight that you think you'll bring into the fight this weekend? I think I learned that I need to keep my mind in the fight and see what is happening in the fight and take decisions uh, from that and uh, not just uh, stay uh, inside my head. That's the main thing. All right, and when it comes to your assessment of Kelvin Gastelum, you actually mentioned it earlier, but is there an aspect of his game that you prepare for specifically or do you just work on you know, your game plan and your skills? Um, it has been mainly to prepare for a southpaw opponent because he stands southpaw and it's extremely different than to fight the orthodox fighter. So uh, that has been something that has been, um, been uh, a focus in my preparation. All right, and the current champ of your division, uh, Israel Adesanya. You know, you're not looking past Gasolin, but what's your assessment of the current champ? Great fighter. He he truly looks uh, incredible, and he has uh, yeah some of the most uh, awesome striking in the sport. Uh, but I'm a little bit sure uh, unsure of his uh, grappling skills. Uh, they might be uh, uh, just as good, but uh, we haven't seen so much of it yet. So that's uh, a part that I'm interested in. So when you imagine maybe fighting for the title in the future. Would you like it to be against a fighter at the caliber of Adesanya? Yeah, definitely. I would love to fight Adesanya. And uh, I'm sure it will happen. Well, thanks very much. And Jack, you know, it felt like you were really, really close uh, prior to the Cannoneer fight in terms of the title picture and everything. Do you think a big performance this week can get you back to where you were? Or even, even closer, especially given there's not a ton of activity right now because of the pandemic? Yeah, definitely. Uh, if I win this fi fight uh, in in great fashion, uh, I believe that I'm back where I were. And uh, yeah, I, I can just see a natural uh, uh, 
like uh, development uh, up there in the top. Uh, I feel like Adesanya is gonna fight Costa. Then uh, Cannonier needs a title fight, and of course we have the fight between uh, Till and uh, Whitaker, and I should fight the winner of that fight and uh, be the next contender.